It is the year 2078. There has been nary a sight of E3 for millennia. My skin is now 1% more yellow. That's it. That's the only difference. Well, I guess also that Subway is now merged with McDonald's and has created the company Foods LLC and has been filling people up with little Elon Musk tech worms for the past 7 years. Actually, a lot has happened, but for the most part, everything is still the same. But there has been a disturbance in the timeline. I detect strong energy waves of corporate greed, quadruple neck freaks with fallout t-shirts, and a really f***ing out of place line by Phil Spencer or something. You know what this means, right? The Electronic Entertainment Expo has returned once again. The true angel of death for all test- <laughs> I did- Am I actually reading that? The Electronic Entertainment Expo has returned once again. The true angel of death for all testicles. E3 used to be adored by all man-children, but momentum has been dying down as of late. The majority of companies began to realize, oh boy, they could just announce stuff whenever they want to and still get a whole lot of attention with stuff like YouTube and social media. So now all the E3-worthy announcements are spread out sporadically throughout the year instead of just condensed in the three-day period. E3 will never reach the heights they once had had ever again. Who cares, right? Wrong. Man children care. And when they inevitably become disappointed at the next Nintendo Direct, because you know they will, they will all simultaneously slam their Cheeto-infested fingertips onto their keyboards and complain on Twitter and Reddit. This will create an ultrasonic wave so powerful that it can destroy universes and even time itself. Okay, so how do we stop this? So basically, you know that rule where if the same things but different timelines touch each other, they'll disappear from existence? Yeah, we're doing that today. And to fix the timeline, I've acquired four and a half watermelons to help in creating our own E3, to counteract the actual E3 from ever existing, mending the timeline once more. And since I'm not having any of those, oh, I don't know whose voice belongs to who comments, I'm gonna let them talk now. Fellas? Is this the video game? GAMES! Games too. Now don't freak out when I say this, but yes, I do flush. This is RE3. This is the Epileptic Emetophilia Expedition. Exp exhibition, son of a bitch. <laughs> Club Penguin is one of the first companies to innovate on the traditional E3 filming this year by not having either an on-stage press conference or video presentation. Instead, they decided to invade a middle school basketball game and paint all over the announcement on the students, teachers, and various people near it. Very brave. They announced a brand new lines of YouTube's pens, assorted fruit gummy flavor themed after the car jitsu and vinyl present of the soundtrack of the Frozen 2 event. There was, however, no announcement regarding the Club Penguin video game. When asked about the remake of the Club Penguin Elite Force as an Xbox Series X exclusive, CEO of Disney Bob Bobbler replied, What do you mean you want a remake of Elite Force? You're already talking about the DS game, right? Please, give me a f shot of babies for spray juice because I cannot take any more of this bullshit. I'll take down the servers again for the hell of it. You'll deserve this, you pricks. Gabe Newell is bringing Portal 2, the sequel, Gary's Mod 4, and Team Fortress Negative 1. Also, 9.5 Watermelons. When asked about the next Half-Life project, Gabe Newell proceeded to jump out of the play during IGN's Summer of Gaming event while screaming, I live forever. No parachute. However, he did not die on impact. He bounced for several miles before landing at a Marriott hotel. After a thorough search through the building, traces of Gabe were not found. His whereabouts are unknown to the Toby Wolf is bringing four and a half raspberry creamsicles to the Switch, because you all suck. Over the past few decades, Hasbro has strived in creating hilarious and fun board games for the whole family to enjoy, and with their surprise appearance at the E3 show floor this year, they did not disappoint. They announced two gender-specific board games this year, Mrs. Monopoly Expanded Edition and Mrs. Monopoly Oh My God Please Just Take This From Our Hands, I Have Taken 40 Packs of Benadryl In The Last 7 Hours, Woohoo! And they actually released both boards that day, giving attendees of the event free signed copies signed by Mr. Monopoly himself. When attendees asked where Mrs. Monopoly was, he just wiggled his mustache while chuckling to himself. From the creator of Jump Force and the Danganronpa comes the brand newest game, Danganronpa the Fourth Trigger Happy. Maybe expecting just more Danganronpa, but think Danganronpa with a twist. 
In the new installment, instead of anime chicks and babes, watch gaming all-stars fight to the death in exhilarating visual novel action. Characters include Mario, Spider-Man, the Death Strander, Final Fantasy, Morgana, Mugman, Candy Kong, Linky Kong, Chunky Kong, Casper, Just Dancer, The Angry Bird, The Mass Effect, The Gear of War, and everyone's favorite video game character, Bowser. The Mastermind will surprise you, because it was actually Bowser. Save Ding and Rompia in the Ding and Rompa movie Trigger Happy. Cyberpunk Pit Cross for the Nintendo Switch has been delayed another month! See you next E3. Solo developer Wizard Soso announced his first brand new project following the release of Wizard Soso and the Real Dragonfly. Many anticipated his next project would take years to announce, but surprisingly, he made his grand return after announcing a live stream titled The Wizard Soso Direct. In it, he announced a brand new game called Wizard Soso Adventure 2. Compared to his previous games, being adaptations of the film, was it so so fun magical adventure? This game will follow a brand new storyline involving Wizard So So and brand new character Wizard No No, also known as Amphrophysicist and Neil deGrasse Tyson. Wizard So So claims that this will be the next evolution of strand type games and will have an all star roster of characters rivaling that of anime standing. Wizard So So Adventure 2 currently has a release date of 2 BC and he says he's fully ready to make the date. Wizard So So also announced the available platforms for Wizard so So Adventure 2, which included both an Epic Game Store and Google Stadia release. Fans were certainly outraged, creating the hashtag SoSo is over party to protest against the choice. In response, Wizard SoSo released a statement titled My Big Break. In it, Wizard SoSo described his iconic rise to power in the games industry. An excerpt reads Well, we had to do what we had to do back in the day in order to make our games a reality. We were forced to make terrible decisions that we regret, but ultimately, we had to take in order to be where we are today. And plus, it's only going to be exclusive for a year. If you guys can stop trying to break into my lovely cottage to steal my valuable potions, only my mom gets to do that. In addition, Wizard Soso's previous games were also added to the Stadia's wide catalog of titles and were made free on the Epic Game Store the following week. Moon Studios had many fans captivated by the movement in their new title Ori and the Magical Fart Cloud. The team made sure to dedicate most of their time and effort on adding in more steamy clouds as well as a triple jump but with a harder mechanic so then players can have a better experience on learning new vertical grapplings. Sonic the Hedgehog as well as John F. Kennedy with a sniper equipped with him from Clone High XD Drain Gang exclamation point exclamation point Monster High as well as Barbie. Cool Grumps. This year, the people who brought you God of Poor, God of Snore, and God of Two and a Half Men announced their new game, God of Whore, featuring all new character customization, but only for your underwear. Homina homina, am I right, ladies? All characters, and I mean all characters, have big boobs. I mean some serious honkers. A real set of a dog. After the expectation surpassing release of Balan Studios' Balan Wonderworld, they gave all their cherishable fans the game everyone wanted. In this sequel, you control fan-favorite character Broomster, the anthropomorphic broom, their vibrant adventure to save Balan Guy from the fiendish grafts of Lord Gobstropple, a ball of hair with spine-chilling motivations. Will Broomster save Balan World of Wonder, or will the wills <laughs> Will Broomster save Balan World of Wonder, or will the wonder of the world be lost to the land? Find out this December the brand new title Balan Wonderworld. Fellowship of the Bling. In one of E3's many attempts to widen the scope of the convention, they have turned to allowing even the most non-related companies to take the stage. That's right, I'm talking of course, about Soylent. They did attempt to make some relations to the show by announcing several different gamer flavors like Dorito, Mario's Coin, Cuphead Milk, Dante, Joel's Sleeve, Altair's Sleeve, Reggie's Go-Go Juice, and Guac. To everybody's surprise, both Hideo Kojima and Matthew Kozlowski walked on stage during the Microsoft Kinect Sacrificial Summoning sponsored by Hooters event announcing a brand new collaboration called Life Stranding, featuring Junko Enishima. When asking Matthew about the development of Life Stranding, he stated, After the successful announcement of Mini Mozart, Kojima contacted me to work on the next big Kojima Productions project. Even though I was deep into development on Mini Mozart, I just couldn't turn the man down. I mean, he even promised me to insert an arm attack costume on Norman Reedus. What more could you want? Nerf this! 
was all Kojima had to say on the project. When you think horror games, what game do you think of? Baldi? Freddy? Bendy? What about Tattletale? That's right, Tootletale is coming this August to mobile devices in Xbox 2. Wii Phone. What could be more exciting than the Tattletale, you may be asking? Two Tattletale! That's right, riveting split-screen gameplay where you and one lucky partner get to break Mama's yearn. Make Mama go away in Tootletale, the new horror game. After the tremendous success of Chase and the Big Adventure, Nickelodeon has given the Paw Patrol franchise their own video presentations. Think the Resident Evil showcases, but with less of this and more of this. They announced not only television spin-offs of the Paw Patrol franchise, but also new games, toys, and Nesquik flavors. Yes, they went there. There was a lot to impact for the presentation, so we'll just talk about the massive announcement. They announced Riders Legends, an AR mobile game with a focus on multi-general gameplay. The demo they show how the old man and eight-year-old commanded their own legions of pups in their conquest for world domination. They also announced Sky Flappy Bird, the first of many Flappy Birds project to be released as part of the eight-year Flappy Bird Bonanza. And finally, a brand new AAA experience for Naughty Duck, simply titled Project Paw Patrol 2024. For some reason Shell showed up. Like the gas station, they didn't even reveal anything. The CEO of Shell, whoever the hell he was, just chucked an entire carton of gas and yelled. He then hijacked a go share and started doing donuts in the parking lot, specifically aiming for the Uya space. The famous studio, Rovio, creator of the Angry Bird, or, has just announced the release of their next classic, Angry Bird. This brand new egg adventure. Sarcasm. You team up with Chuck and Bomb derogatory to defeat the big pig hyperbolic with exciting ironic match 3 gameplay idiom save Terence the gargantuan ferret personification or don't it doesn't really matter true in the brand new angry bird skin on after buying out honey pot team salvato is introducing honey pop 3 with a brand new cutie pass the cutie pass will add five new characters to the game in the coming months the first of which being sam and max shortly after the video presentation dropped team leader dan salvato commented about the project hey don die in this one i swear and then not talking about sam and max and talking about tom cruise and shaquille o'neal you have 21 hours before the sun vaporizes and then to find blue powder for me to sell on craigslist now make me do it my finger is on the trigger many rumors are starting to circulate regarding the cutie pass some are mentioning names like Mike Tyson from the Punch-Out series, Borat, and the really dirty part of my right earbud. You know, the one with all the ear action sh No, I'm not touching that damn thing. You do what I you mean you're not gonna do it? It is significant to note, however, that Dan did indeed confirm that any character can come into the Honey Pop universe, whether real or fictional. Anybody can come in. I asked my grandma if she wanted in on it, but she declined. I even jacked her up to the machines and plant her brain inside of the actual dam. But boy, she is a tough one, I tell ya. I guess you can confirm her, but I'm not giving any more hints. I love Scooby-Doo. TurboTax also showed this year with no game announced before their own, but they did announce ports for the TurboTax app to PS4, Xbox One, and the Windows Store coming this September. Also, could I forgot they are finally joining the Ultimate Gaming crossover a bit? Yes, that's right. Final Fantasy XIV on the line? A Realm Reborn? Allowing your avatar to finally live out the life and struggles of the Carfax? Whoa, I, I think it's working. I I think it's actually working, and even if my friends disagree with me, I'm writing most of this part so they can't physically deny me. Isn't that right? Yes, you are absolutely right. Let me suckle upon your glorious teeth of vast knowledge, for you are a saint, a true saint. Opal is a hydrated amorphous form of silica, S-I-O. Aha, bro, let's drop on tilted towers. You can go on mute. <laughs> me too. Are we having fun, attractive babes? Oh no, it looks like the rampant beast is taking down the recessive gender for its last hurrah! Now the title of this video actually makes sense! Who would have seen this coming?
I mean, I think we all expected a giant E3 logo to not only be massacring all women, but removing them from the time- You are so true. Please let me have selfie while we discuss the studies of Leonardo da Vinci while sipping upon freshly brewed Lipton tea. Oh god, disagree with me now. Come on man, I'm just reading the script, you wrote that in yourself. Okay, this is getting too meta, let's just find a way to end E3 before this just becomes a channel awesome movie. Any ideas? Let's just call me Kazi the crowd. Turn E3 into the one ball pit picture from Dashkan. Damn it, it already is, what else? Hold up my well-mannered English gentleman. Dashkan or to Kamikaze? That is the question. Why the- uh why the hell are you talking like somebody who just got kicked off of the cast of Downton Abbey? Who cares? Let's- what else? Maybe we can stuff used diapers into cars and use them as explosive ammunition. I'm only doing it if we all commit. Anyone. That's Poggers Pro. Anybody else? That's right. Next! Oh, we could always make weird homestuck cosplays using shoppy bats. Absolutely. There is a giant monolith devouring almost half of the human race, and all you're capable of thinking of is literal blackface. Come on, think. I mean, what usually ends off E3? God, you're right. The one more thing. But what? What could be our one more thing? Mark Zuckerberg with Pickle Rick! Oh hey, I just ate 25 packs of Adderall and Zaynets. What's popping? Hey, hey, hey guys, it's me, the Mark Zucchini. I'm, I'm finally embracing the memes, you guys. <laughs> you, you guys like Szechuan sauce? <laughs> well, you know, this is a new movie. Squishy, I'm gonna kill him. Wow, now that was a certified lol. Lol.